Hello, Revere. My name is Danielle Osterman, and I'm running for Revere City Council in Ward 2 to deliver results for my neighbors and represent the working people of Revere. Right now, I work for the City of Revere as the Community Development Program Manager. I started with the City in March of 2020, the week before the pandemic hit and everything changed. Quickly, my position shifted to citywide food distribution efforts, where I coordinated giving out hundreds of boxes of food every week. As Revere had some of the highest unemployment rates in the state, I began to focus on workforce development, where I oversaw a youth summer jobs program and helped ensure Revere residents had access to quality union jobs. While I continued to work closely with community partners on multiple initiatives, like expanding childcare access and advancing digital equity to help improve economic stability for residents, I also oversee millions of dollars in an annual community development block grant the city receives. Funds from this grant must be spent on projects that benefit low and moderate income Revere residents. I'm responsible for compliance review, financial management, and federal reporting. In my time managing the grant, we have distributed hundreds of thousands of dollars to local nonprofits and small businesses, improved countless streets and sidewalks, and invested in infrastructure aimed at reducing flooding in our neighborhoods. I started my career with two years of AmeriCorps service in Boston and Chelsea, where I taught English and computer classes to adult learners, helped families get mass health and the food they need to feed their kids, and helped people file their taxes for free at community clinics. I'm running to be your next Ward 2 City Councilor because it's time we fight for working class residents. I'm a renter and I know what it's like to face unpredictable rent increases and housing costs that are out of control. Of all the new development we have seen over the last four years in the Shirley Ave neighborhood and along the beach, not a single unit has been deemed affordable. Families and residents are often forced to live with overcrowding and other unsafe living conditions just to stay in their homes. I want to guarantee that anyone who calls this neighborhood home can afford to stay here and that all of our seniors can age in place. Additionally, I will continue to work to ensure smart investments are made in our infrastructure, including our sidewalks, roads, and water infrastructure. Like so many residents, I don't own a car, and I rely on our streets and sidewalks being safe and accessible so that I can get to work, run errands, and visit with friends. We must promote opportunities to improve our ability to walk, bike, and take public transportation to help with the over-congestion of traffic and make sure everyone can be safe on our streets. When I moved to Revere, I couldn't believe how quickly I felt a sense of community, a first for me after having moved around several times as an adult. I found mentors in the neighborhood who believed in me and continued to support my growth and development. I love this neighborhood and I want to ensure every resident has access to those same opportunities and supports that I did. I'm excited to bring fresh, thoughtful, community-centered leadership to the City Council. And that's why I humbly ask for your vote on Election Day, Tuesday, November 7th. Thank you to all of the residents of Ward 2.